There's a red carpet. I don't know if we walk in on that or not. We better not have to. Okay, so I know how this looks, right? The channel runs a successful Kickstarter, and then I hop on a plane and I fly to this exotic European location, right? <laughs> well, the story behind this trip actually started over a year ago with this email. So quick history lesson. Back in 2012, they planned to take Michael Coons' musical Rebecca from Vienna to Broadway. Those plans fell through when it came to light that four of the prominent financiers actually didn't exist. And then this flurry of FBI investigations and lawsuits began, and sure enough, all of these sensational headlines made it to where the scandal was really burying the show underneath. So as I started making the documentary for the channel, I knew that I really wanted to dive past all of the crap. And that's where this email comes into play, because it's what started my relationship with the show's creator, Michael Kunza. Anyway, we corresponded for a few months, documentary comes out, the channel passes 100,000 subscribers, and a year later... This is what they use for the fire at the end. It might I be she lights she the, first one, the first and then one, it, and the rest comes then it all itself. spreads. So it goes stair, 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 and then it spreads. Look over here. Mm. So it goes, so then it's just on the banisters as it goes up. That's crazy. And these don't catch fire? <laughs> So the controls for the staircase, are they hidden behind these, yes. the, behind the books? Behind the books. That's so cool. I've never seen what's inside. I've never checked, probably it's empty. I don't know, maybe somebody, no. Wow. Oh, wow, no? No, but it's the wrong. <laughs> don't nice. show that. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. They're just, they're planning ahead. It's the thing of like, you know the set's big, but then you get in there and it's just like, <laughs> it's a really big set. How did you decide, because I, I know you've told me through all of our talks with the documentary, but for those who don't know, how did you decide that you wanted to turn Rebecca into a musical? I read the book when I was 16 or 17 and uh, I, I loved this book. After my first uh, musical successes, I thought this is the next thing I want to do because uh, it is different from all the musicals. Uh, that had been made by that time and that was also the difficulty because no producer wanted to do it because they said oh it's a whodunit story and uh, it's a thriller this is not good for a musical a musical must be funny or uh, it must be a drama but I, I, I think it's at the same time a great love story it also has my theme my basic theme you know uh, how someone uh, becomes himself or herself in that case. So I went back to Vienna where 
actually three of my musicals already uh, had been done and uh, well they trusted me uh, without really believing in it but uh, in the end it turned out to be a success. How is it bringing the show back considering everything that happened in New York with the... Well actually what happened in New York didn't have uh, to do anything with the show. It was about the financing, it was about uh, the people who were involved uh, in the production. Uh, the show itself uh, was, not, uh, was not changed uh, and, and it didn't need to be changed after that. It didn't have to do anything with the uh, structure of the show or the uh, content of the show. Yeah, that looks luxurious. It's like I'm on Ikea. We're getting ready to head over to the premiere, which means I get to put on a new suit that I rush bought from a Macy's before flying out, and we get to see if it fits and how I look. It's like prom night, but hopefully less tears this time. see a horror movie? Rebecca! You guys want to see Vienna? That was a cool week.